So we have this other padlock here now. It's a Kinzo. Kinzo. Kinzo accessories. 30 millimeter, three keys. Now there are three keys there. Kinzo high quality reliable tools. But this is a padlock. Is a padlock a tool? I don't know. I suppose it is. Uh, it just says it's 32. 32 millimeters. I thought it said it's 30 millimeters, but over there it says it's 32 millimeters. I guess it can't make up its mind what it is. It's confused about its identity, I suppose. 22 millimeters from the height of the shackle, the top of the shackle to the where the body starts. Who cares? Yeah. Now the fun part. What is? What the heck is that supposed to be? If you are an airbender or you're supposed to I don't get it. Um it's like an arrow. You're supposed to blow air in all those directions and then hope that it, one of the some of the air goes around you to start the process over again. So I just I don't get it. I wonder what I wonder what someone else thinks that thing is. I don't get what it is. This thing, stupid recycle, recyclable or whatever. Yeah, and it just says down there, Adrian Malverg. Again, the Netherlands, made in PRC. Don't know where the PRC is, never heard of that. Anyhow, Tinzo. So maybe Tinzo is a Netherlands brand? Probably just a Chinese padlock, I think. So let me see. Core on there looks like it could be brass, but I can tell you now this is a wannabe brass padlock. A wannabe. Looks to me more like a like a brass or an iron padlock painted to be to be brass and when you feel this you can tell that that the body feels like it's been painted yay toxic paint right but at least this one compared to others I've been come across is actually not too gammy on the core and we tried to get a somewhat good bidding. So let's see. First thing it does look like there's a does look like there's a lip in there. But we'll take our shim anyway and just see. Yeah, it's shielded, so that's good. That's always good. So we have a we have a Core that I don't know if it's shielded or not, but let's have a look at these tolerances at the top. Huge gaps up there, plenty of room for shimming. So, we don't need those keys. What is it though? Four pinner. Whoops. Yeah. Let's grab this four pin. Thingamajiggy. Mm. Does seem to kind of want to go in there. Although it does want to get stuck as well. So, gonna want to wiggle that thing back out of there because it's a little bit narrow for this. I mean, it might work, but I fear that if you try to use this, it might get stuck in there. So with that said, let's just grab the bypass knife. And stick the bypass knife at the top. Push all those pins out the way. Try and look for something to grab on. And there we go. So Got ourselves the keys, 
and it says hardened on there. Alright, whatever. Let's just see if the keys even work, the padlock. They do. So that's a win. Now, at least we know it only locks, it's honest enough. It says it locks on one side, so get our shim. Try and put our shim in there. Did it lock on the other side? Let's see here. Well, that's why it didn't work. Locks on the other side. Ugh. So put that in there. There we go. That time it worked. So yeah, tip when shimming a padlock: always start on the side where the where you can see the pins. Start on that side. And yeah, then you can shim it. Okay, so shimmed and bypassed. Yeah. Will this thing fit in there? I don't know, I'm just a bit scared to put this thing in there. It's not necessary. We bypassed it anyways. So, I want to get a file. It's got this cheapy file here. And I want to file in two places. Okay. So just looking inside of that hole there. Alright, so I'm going to try and file a mark. This shackle says it's hardened, but is that true though? So let's see here. Stop stabbing yourself with the keys. Nah. That there is actually cutting into it. It's cutting in there, so it's not hardened of course. Didn't expect it to be though. And I want to file this lock body a bit. Bam. Seriously, though, look at those tolerances. Huge, huge gap. So, actually, thinking, taking into account that this is the side, I want to see if I can even stick something else down inside that gap. Never mind a shim. So. I might try. Oh, I think I have something here. So here's that broken pick, which is my backup knife tool. I'll stick that, try and wedge him down inside of there. Try and jiggle him around. Okay, he might be a bit blunt. So we'll just take the normal knife tool, stick him, try and wiggle him around in there. Yeah, that's the right side. Just put that like that. Okay, there we go. So you can just stick the knife tool down that way as well and bypass it if you want no problem okay so yeah um, I suspect that this lock body is just iron uh, take a bit off the corner here Just scratch it a little bit, you can kind of see here. See, just on the corner there, we're starting to get the iron coming out of there. So 
So it's just an iron padlock that's pretending to be a brass padlock, so... Uh, gotta love fakery, huh? This is also an ideal candidate for the, the wrenches. So, let me see, before we pick this thing, we can destroy it with, we can open it with multiple bypasses. Wrenches, bolt cutters, hacksaws, hammers, uh, pretty much anything. So, I think this is also a good candidate for trying to pick it in a, in a uh, amusing manner. Now, let me see if I can just tension this thing off the top. Probably not really necessary. Just use the bottom, the key there. Uh, and I'll get my rake for small padlocks, i.e., this one. And we just try and rake it. And I start to bounce the tensioner, which behaves differently. So that might be a bit shallow. Let's get the let's get my half snowman because he's like a snake rake anyway. Rawr, come on! I think it's just our bidding. Whatever, we'll just get the Bogota. So, Bogota. Bogota doesn't seem to do it easily, he seems to be getting stuck. So again, the bidding seems at least to resist rakes. Got another one. Remember, we've got to try our rakes before we try and just move on from raking. Got a worm rake here. Oh, stabbed myself in the hand. Bastard. When the locks fight back. Or when good locks go bad. Alright, enough stab myself in the hand. Let's get the uh, city rake. <sighs> city rake and try and rake it. Or rock it, I mean. Where is it gone? There it is. Okay. Give the lock a handshake. Try and be friends again, make up. Guess he doesn't want to be all comprende. That even makes sense. Nope. Let's just try to rock it with a hook. Mm, he's not really budging. Alright, whatever. Let's try and just pick it with a hook then. something nice. Alright, put that in there. And I will take my my Peterson standard hook. Just feel for the right pin if we can. Let's 
But even so, it doesn't really feel easy. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Let us get a pry bar. Stick them in the top. Of course, that one's going to be too thick. Do 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 do. This one. All right. Hurry up now, because we have to wrap this up. See, we have to hold it this way. Man, it was opening so easy. Now suddenly it's pretending to be some high security padlock. Alright, fine, fine. Be that way. We'll just get a different hook. I'll take this one. One is loose. Two give a click. Three. Feels like we have some sloppy tolerances in here that are making things confusing. So heavy tension. Isn't it amazing how it gets so difficult <sighs> when we are trying to pick it like this? Tell you what, because that spring's kind of weak feeling. I'm just going to try and rake it like this. This is amazing. What is this equipment? Super high security lock now or something? Crazy. Fine. Uh, I'll try this one quickly. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work.
damn tensioner. Alright, we'll have to return to this because this one is. Maybe it's. That well, it still works. Oh well. We'll come back to this. <laughs>